Look up, child. Look up, child.
for everything I've done wrong. Oh, I'm the one who died this Christ, but you call my name, you call my name. I thought that I was too far. You call my name, you call my name. You call my name. You call my name. You call me. Oh, oh, oh. you're ready to have a little. So lovely to meet all of you tonight. We've got a beautiful evening in store. I hope you're ready to just have the time of your life, basically. Okay, here's the deal. I, it was almost six years ago when I was in this very room and um, a girl by the name, some of you may have heard of her, her name's Taylor Swift. Um, Taylor Swift was in here and she had the light up bracelets. And I was like, oh my gosh, if we get to ever have the light up bracelets ever in my show, then I've finally made it. And guess what? Y'all are the very first show ever, ever to have the light up bracelets. That was, that song was my very first time ever seeing that from stage. And that was very special. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have a good time tonight. A good time tonight, I feel it. All right, um, Mr. Daniel, you got something cooking in the DJ booth? All right! <laughs>
you are not hidden There's never been a moment that you were forgotten You are not hopeless Though you have been broken, your innocence stolen I hear you whisper underneath your breath I hear your SOS, your SOS I will send out an army to find you In the middle of the darkest night, it's true There is no distance that cannot be covered over and over. You're not defenseless. Oh, I'll be your shelter, I'll be your armor. I hear you whisper underneath your. Underneath your breath, I hear you whisper, You have nothing left. I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. It's true. I love singing that song. I love it so much. It's probably what people always ask. They say, what is your favorite song to sing every night? And I would definitely dare to say that that one's on the docket. I love singing that every night. It's probably one of the most personal songs that I've ever been a part of writing. Um, so I love it. And I love that I get to see God just weave his little way into each one of your stories through that song. That's probably my favorite part of it, all of it. Um, yeah, you can clap, okay. You're allowed, you're allowed to be as wild as you want. We like to have a good old time. <laughs> In a little bit, we're gonna start a conga line. Uh, you're gonna lead the charge, okay? Just make sure you scoop all of these people up along the way. It's gonna be perfect. Security's gonna love me. <laughs> Just kidding, don't do it. <laughs> I don't want to be asked to never come back. We won't call that uninvited, but you know, it is what it is. Um, how are y'all doing up at the very, very top? I always love looking up at the people up there because anytime there's these cameras on me, Big Cat and Ashley, um, it takes away any of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So y'all are my favorite guests of the night. Don't tell anybody else. I'm just kidding. 
We're all best friends in here, okay? It's gonna be, it's all unified and beautiful. Okay, okay. Um, this next song is one of my absolute favorites as well, but here's the deal. Every time in the middle of this song, someone decides to get up and go to the bathroom, and that's fine. Maybe they're grabbing a pretzel, maybe they're grabbing a beer, whatever. But they always go and get up and move along, right? Case in point. <laughs> she don't even know, she don't even know. The thing about it is, <laughs> the song is, it says, this girl ain't going anywhere. But there's always one girl that goes somewhere. And it makes, it makes me feel like, man, I gotta rewrite my lyrics on the fly. And every now and then it happens. Actually, at the very beginning of the tour, I, you know, they say, how do you come up with something new every single night? How do you stay refreshed singing these songs every single night? It's the same song. And I say, well, the crowd is different every night. And so it makes for the best instrument in the room. When you guys come, it changes the whole thing. But it, I think it was the third night of tour, maybe the fifth night of tour. And somebody was leaving while I was saying that. This girl ain't going anywhere except for that girl in the striped shirt that's walking up to go to the bathroom so she doesn't sprinkle tinkle all over her friends. <laughs> and I could not contain myself. We had to restart the show three times. That specific song, we had to restart it three times because when I get the giggles, uh, has anybody ever gotten a case of the giggles? And it just, it is an unending feat. You never know what's gonna happen on the other side. I think I was the sprinkle tinkler, but it's fine. <laughs> That's why I wear baggy pants. People are always like, what's up with that? I'm like, oh, if only knew, 30. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, let's start um, talking about the Lord again because it's better that way. Uh, this next song is one of my favorites. If you get up and go to the bathroom, you might become a lyric, so sort it out. Uh, this song is called This Girl. Here we go. I've been a winding road, oh, I know you know. Sometimes a stranger in my home. I keep going back and forth through the open door. This girl ain't 
This year, it's called Come Back Home. Here we go. Thought that there was more, so I walked out the door, set out on the path unwinding. Aiming for the stars, but I wound up in the dark. Didn't know this road would be so lonely. Where do I come from here? And why do I have this jump all about the wasted years? And I don't think I can take no more. I need to let these burners down. I've been wandering for too long now. Tired of living this life on my own. I did it all just to come back home. But all I feel is fear and trembling Turning back around and wanting to be found But all the questions keep me guessing Where do I go?
I think, hey my gosh, my little friend, it's hanging out with me. I think I've just gotta do it. I've gotta do the confetti angel. <laughs> you know, I said, how can I go about making sure that I get confetti in the show? And they said, write happy songs. Cause all I do is make you cry. <laughs> Y'all wanna do it again? song gets me every time, gets me every time. I wore my little hearts to share the love with you guys. Sharing the love, sharing the love. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, now we're gonna get really serious and emotional. Welcome to the ups and downs of the Lauren Daigle Show. <laughs> if you've been around from the beginning of my career, then you will know this next song. It's called, How Can It Be? Here we go.
That you hold everything we need, everything we need, God. Yes, we thank you, Jesus. God, when I need you, you come running out to me. Oh, and I know that you are trustworthy in every circumstance, Jesus. Oh, you are the keeper of all. during the 560 days of stillness, but no one was counting. God just met me in the moment and he reminded me of what it was to find my first love again. And I, I feel like, yeah, it's the best. I'll just say that. But I was talking to someone yesterday, or maybe it was maybe it was two days ago, I don't know. No, it was yesterday. Golly, the days feel so long. <laughs> and uh, we were talking about disappointment. And I was up here on this stage for 12 shows, I think it was 12 shows, before the shutdown happened. And as a child, God would show me these tours and visions and dreams and I would literally see them. I could see crowds of people and I could see tour buses and I could see charts and awards and all these things. I wasn't even singing. I was like the closet singer that sang in her shower, sang when she was getting dressed. Nobody knew that I could sing. And um, my mom went to the the worship leader at our church, the choir director, and said, hey, my daughter sings all the time, all the time, all the time. And I don't know if she's any good, but if you would just put her on the back row of the choir, maybe she'd have an outlet to get this out, you know, and do something with it. And so I went and I auditioned. I didn't really audition. He showed me this song behind the church and he said, sing this for me. And it was the song, Hosanna. And I was like, like really sheepish and he goes Lauren I have heard you laugh before you better sing that song 
And I was like, oh gosh. And I said, I don't know if this is singing or if this is screaming. I don't know. Because I was like belting it, but I didn't know what belting was. I just thought I was screaming at the top of my lungs with the melody attached. And I found out that's not what that was. <laughs> and he said, get ready, because in two weeks I'm going to have you lead this song. And um, I had never really sang in front of people. I, I was so new to it. But in this time, God started showing me all these things. And here we are, fast forward. Every single decision that I had made in my career, I made focused on the dream, focused on those visions that he showed me over and over and over and over again. It says those without vision, they'll perish. And it was like he gave me the foresight for years and years and years and years to come. And here I am and I have finally arrived to the moment that I was seeing all of these years. And it was the Lauren Daigle World Tour. It looked exactly like, exactly like what he had shown me. Like exactly. But at the start of the tour, he said, hold it loosely. And I was like, all right. Well, that's interesting. Didn't expect that. And he said, hold it loosely. And I remember just the first, <laughs> don't tell anyone, uh, but the first, second show, one of our major props broke. We're not going to reveal any secrets yet. And I remember the team coming to me and they were like, y you are not going to believe what just happened. And I was like, it's all right. And there's just an ease about letting go of things that would be seemingly important. And then the 12th show came and everything had to shut down. And I remember feeling like, God, what is this disappointment? It took me six months to literally get out of bed. I was so heartbroken because at 16, he showed me something, a dream, a vision. And 12 years later, I was there to fulfill that. I could see it. It was exactly what I, he had shown me. And on the 12th, something interesting about the 12th, I gotta look that up. But on the 12th show was when it all fell apart. And the weight of disappointment is so suffocating. It is so isolating. It is so gripping. And I don't know if there is anybody that has walked in with disappointment tonight, but I promise you, he can be the restorer of broken dreams. I promise. Because the thing that's so interesting is I used to never talk about God at shows. I went through this phase where I didn't want to talk about God at shows because I wanted it to be more inclusive and I didn't want people to feel afraid. I wanted them to feel invited. But how could I introduce love when I'm not talking about love himself? And in this time of 560 days, I said, God, what, where did all this go? And he said, Lauren, you got to go back to why you sing. Why do you sing? You sing to love me. You sing to show me that you care. That worship is the thing that precedes a miracle. If you are desperate for a miracle and you begin to worship and worship and worship, your eyes will become so focused on the thing you're worshiping that you won't have time to give fear and anxiety and stress to the things of this world. And he said, you have forgotten. Yeah, it's amazing. He said, you have forgotten the heart of worship. Just come back to your first love. And I am so grateful for those 560 days because not only did he take away disappointment, but he allowed this stage to be an even more beautiful experience than it would have ever been because I actually remember worship now where I was going through the motions and just doing show after show after show. Now. I get to sit and bask in his presence every single night. And I was missing it. And he just said, girl, come on back to your first love. Just come back. I don't know if you've walked in with disappointment. I don't know if you've walked in with sorrow. I don't know what it is that you've come in here with tonight. But I do know that he who has began a good work, he is faithful to complete it. And he will complete it. And even in disappointment, even in the weight of the world on your chest, 
God is gracious. He is kind. He is loving. And he will take you even in spite of your weaknesses, even in spite of you trying to run as far away from him as you possibly can. You might not even know who God is. You might be an atheist. You might not care about all this at all. And that is a-okay. I'm glad you're here tonight. I fully believe that by the end of it, you're going to know a little bit of something about Jesus that you may have never known before. Come on in. Come on, sit at the table, because we got a lot of food to eat. There's a feast, and it's wonderful. But in this 560 days, I say, God, I'm not forsaking a moment of worship. So we're going to do some old school songs, all right? We're going to take it back just a little bit. Y'all want two old school songs or one old school song? You can, two. All right. So here I am walking in my backyard. It was a side yard, really. We don't got backyards where I'm from. And he said, come back to your first love. And this melody came to my mind. And then these lyrics came to my mind. And I'm telling you, it must have been something that my grandmother sang over me or something when I was a little kid, because I'd never heard this before. And I looked up the lyrics to see if they were mine. I was like, I don't think that's my song. Where did this melody come from? And it was a Keith Green song from back in the day. And I YouTubed it and I was like, where, where did this come from? And he shares the night that he wrote it. And he talks about how God told him, come back, come back to your first love. Let me make your heart like a baby again. And from that place, he wrote this song. And I don't think it's coincidence that God reminded me of that song in the moment that I was needing the exact same thing. So we're going to sing this together. And if you know it, just lift your voice. If you don't know it, that's all right. You might catch on, but it's called, Oh Lord, You're Beautiful. Here we go. Oh Lord, You're beautiful. Your face is all I see. And when Your Oh 
You know it's a, um, a good show when <laughs> you go to drink some tea and you feel something a little funny in the mix. Even my tea loves confetti. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We have not played this song on tour yet. And we've had some people ask for it. And so we decided tonight might be a good night to play it. Do you guys like the song Rebel Heart? Okay, we haven't done it yet. So of course we're saving the best for tonight, okay? It is what it is. Oh, I love this song so much. And um, yeah, this one is one of those old 
It feels old and nostalgic, but we wrote it like three years ago. But I just love it. It's called Rebel Heart. If you know it, just sing it with us. Here we go. Lord, I offer up this rebel heart So stopping and so restless from the start Cause I don't want to fight you anymore So take this rebel heart and make it yours Father, I no longer want to run You've broken my resistance with your love And drowned it underneath the crimson spill So bend this rebel heart into your will I give it over to you I give it all over to you Your love is like an arrow straight and true And now this rebel heart belongs to you Help me lay the renegade to rest Stone inside me back to flesh and hold me till my best defenses fall and watch this rebel heart surrender. I give it all over to you. I give it all over to you. Oh, 
hold on to me Don't you cry Your folks might 
frightened voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Thank you. Oh, the heart. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so grateful. All right, y'all want to sing one last one together? Okay. It's old school. If you know it, just sing along. Something beautiful. Something good. All of my confusions He understood All I had to offer him Was brokenness and strife But he made something so beautiful 